I think there's the power of data and it can be used rightly and wrongly and I think if you're actually understanding what data can do and then getting some trend data and doing some predictive data and then automating it, you can actually drive your business through the power of data. But there's a lot of information in organisations, it's ter interpreting that information into data that means something for the right decision making and I think that is building into an organisation's DNA and culture. How do they use the right data and what's the governance around how you manage and control yeah. that data? I mean, that, that's my background, so it's extract, transform, load, and BI, business intelligence, and mm -hmm. visualize on the end. And, yeah, and, and the data you're looking at, it's the same version, we're all looking at the same version, so don't argue with those figures on VOI, those are the figures. Um, and that's, that's a way to kind of break that. So as long as you're working off the same data, it might be, bad, it might be telling you bad news, but at least you know you're about to crash and burn, so do something about it, rather than just mystify yeah. yourself. It's having, it's having the dashboard to drive in the yeah. right decisions. And I think yeah. the, the power of data at the moment, in terms of taking unstructured data and big data in platforms, is now that users can actually um, do self-serve, so they can actually make their own decisions. It's not waiting for somebody to actually design a report for you and moving miles away from that now. And actually being able to have the power of self-serve data to make intelligent decisions is, is I think, is really exciting. We're not using enough of it at the moment.